Hi, I'm Alexis, the owner and designer at Merge and Center, an Etsy shop that specializes in Google Sheets templates. Today, I'm going to show you the Trip Planner. This is a tool that I've been working on for a while, and I recently took it on a test run with a family vacation that we took, and I'm really excited to debut it because it has so much good stuff packed in it. It's going to make planning your trip really easy and keep you organized and just keep all of those really important informational details in one place for you. When you first get the tool, you're going to want to start on the customize sheet. This red outline box area is where you're going to put those really essential details to get you started. So you're going to name your trip, add your leave date, your return date, your destination, and you can choose an emoji for a little bit of flair. Then you're going to want to start adding your logistical information. The logistics sheet has attendees, accommodations, travel and transportation, activities and recreation, and useful links sections. All of these sections can be expanded by clicking on the little plus sign icon in the very left-hand side of your window. Add all of your attendees, and whether or not they are a child, you can check that here, and the calculation is going to happen automatically on the right side here. Accommodations is where you're going to put your lodging accommodations. You can put names or addresses here, whether or not you've made a reservation, any notes, and the cost column here. There's a cost column on the far right side of the logistics sheet for accommodations, travel and transportation, and activities and recreation. You see there's cost column all along this right hand side. This is important to note because these amounts are actually going to be added together and added to your budget sheet. So when you are putting together all of your plans and you're putting together your budget, just know that those three sections are calculating from the cost that appears on the logistics sheet. Travel and transportation is where you're going to keep track of all of your different travel options. You've got drop down menus here, and all of the drop down menus on this tool are customizable on the customized sheet. So if you don't see the option that you want or you want to change the options that you see, you can do that on the customized sheet. And then the activities and recreation section where you can add all of the fun things that you're planning or hoping to do. The useful links section at the bottom here is just for any miscellaneous links that would be useful to you. So you can add anything in here, really. The budget sheet is where you're going to plan out the budget for your trip. At the top, you're going to see your totaled out amount. So when you first get the tool, it's going to be blank or zero. And then the savings plan little table here is really helpful for you to kind of plan out how much do you need to save in advance of this trip so that you're not cramming at the last minute to get all those dollars together. So it's going to calculate based off of the total amount that you have. It's going to give you a 75% amount, a 50% amount, and a 25% amount. And then it's up to you to determine what the due date is for those the due date for the total amount is just going to default to your leave date because ideally you'll have all that money together before you actually leave on the trip. Trip expenses is where you're going to add all of your expenses for your trip. These three grayed out cells are the amounts that we're auto calculating from the logistics sheet that we talked about a moment ago. So your accommodations, travel and transportation, and activities and recreation amounts, those are all added together on the logistics sheet, and then they're popped over here to the budget sheet. So that's why these cells are grayed out. You want to leave them as is and add those amounts to the logistics sheet. And then everything else here, you can just add manually to the individual cells. The calculators at the bottom are just a couple of handy calculators to have on hand. There's a cost splitting calculator if you're going to be splitting amounts between different people on the trip. And there's also a currency conversion calculator if you're going to be traveling overseas and need to make some conversions. One quick thing to note of the currency conversion is this little tiny disclaimer note that you see about quotes are not sourced from all markets is the disclaimer that Google provides when you use a Google Finance formula. So that's why that little tiny disclaimer appears. It's because we are using a Google Finance formula in the currency conversion calculator. Your checklist sheet is where all of your to-do lists are. So we have one actual to-do list, and then the rest of them are packing lists divided up by type. So clothing, accessories, toiletries, electronics, and miscellaneous. These are also sections that need to be expanded out to view them. And you'll just add your items and then check them off as you go. The itinerary sheet is where you're going to plan out the ins and outs of every day that you're on the trip. 
it's going to default to starting on the day that you said was your leave date on the customize sheet when you first entered your trip details. So adjust that date as needed on the customize sheet. You've got a quick note option here, a weather emoji option here. And again, those drop down menus can be customized on the customize sheet. And then you can just kind of add all of the details of your days to these cells here. Everybody's trip is gonna be a different length and every trip is gonna be slightly different. So we have space here for 31 whole days, but if you need more or less than that, you can use these red X options in the quick note row. So for instance, let's say my trip actually ends on the 9th and I need to use this row. I can either change it to one of the quick note options here, or I can actually just backspace or delete what is in that cell and it will open up that column for use. Likewise, if your trip is shorter than this, you can just use that red X option to gray out any days that you're not gonna be using. And this just kind of helps you visually focus on your trip length. The dashboard sheet is where all of this information is going to be collected for an at a glance for really quick information, like at a glance purposes. So you've got your trip name, your destination, days until trip, trip budget, dates. And these little pie charts in the middle here are actually calculating based off of how many of those little check boxes you've checked off on the checklist sheet. So our to-do list is calculated out here and our packing list is calculated here. There's a big cell at the bottom here that you can insert either like a screenshot for a trip map, which is what I did here, or you can also just put a fun image in here to help you get excited for your trip. It's just an open space for you to put some kind of fun image here if you desire it. Lastly, on the customize sheet, this is the section here that you can customize all the drop down menus. Everything yellow is something that is a drop down menu option that you can customize. And there's the resources section down here, which has tutorials to a couple of Google Sheets videos if you need help getting started. There's a link to the tutorial that you're watching right now, right here, as well as a tutorial on how to create a trip map with Google Maps, if that's something that you would like to try on your trip. And then the last thing that I'll point out is there's a feedback and suggestion box here. If you have any feedback on this tool as you're using it, I would love to hear it. That's pretty much it for the trip planner. I hope it makes planning your next trip so easy and stress-free and enjoyable, and I hope you have a really good trip. Thanks for watching.